cookies, coffee, and Dixie Vodka. Sarah's in the house from Dixie Vodka. How are you doing? I'm so great. Good to see oh, you, Courtney. Me too. I love this drink. We're making the Samoa Latte Martini. Uh, this sounds so delicious. So how do we do it? So we're definitely, uh, there's a certain cookie that's mm -hmm. available around this time of year. So we're mm -hmm. going to be utilizing it in a cocktail. Um, stealing some of their flavors. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna start out with an ounce and a half of okay. Dixie vodka. Ounce and a half, all right. And so that's gonna be the big side of that. So one ounce of this and then a half of there. Um, so this, I think this one's an ounce and a half. Oh, it is, okay, gotcha. The good thing is if you have it mixed up to start with, your just your ratios will be uh -huh. off, but all off in the same way. Okay. <laughs> so that'll be good. So right in this glass here, mm -hmm. okay. Ounce and a half. And then we're gonna do a half an ounce of coffee liqueur. We're okay. using a uh, clue you can use. Uh, we'll okay. do half of one of these. Half of one of those, got it. And you could definitely substitute this with like some cold brew coffee oh, or can. something like oh. that. You wouldn't necessarily have to do it, but you know I like alcohol. Oh, so me too. We're gonna use an alcoholic add in whenever we can. <laughs> of course. Um, now we're also gonna do a half an ounce mm -hmm. of caramel syrup. Okay. So there's a million brands. This one you can just find in the coffee section of your local grocery store. It's great to have on hand anyway, just for fancy coffees and that sort of thing. All right. Now we're gonna do an ounce of coconut milk. An ounce of coconut milk. Now okay. a Samoa cookie has coconut in it. You could add like a toasted coconut or something like mm -hmm. that. I'm a, I like a little coconut, not too much. So we're using a little coconut milk for that flavor. Right, just one ounce. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can buy it in the refrigerated section. Um, you can buy it out of the baking section. Mm -hmm. You could use Coco Lopez. You could use all sorts of things. Okay. All right. And now we're just gonna fill it up. Fill it up with some ice and give it a good shake. All right. So I pop this on, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did I do that right? You did. <laughs> okay. So there's that. And now you're just gonna strain it into a martini glass. Oh. Now, if you don't have one of these shakers at home, and I realize not everyone has one, mm -hmm. you can just use an old spaghetti jar or a mason jar, something like that. Okay. And oh, it uh, so good. throw the lid on and shake that up that way. Okay. All right. So there's that. Now we're just gonna top it off Ooh. with a little whipped cream. Nice. This is like a dessert. <laughs> it is the dessert cocktail for sure. Okay. And then we'll give it a couple uh, little drizzle, little drizzles of chocolate syrup. Mmm. And then we're just gonna garnish it with a okay. cookie. Try, to, try not to split it on there, but we'll just put it in Cute. that way. Oh, I love it. All right, let's see how we did. Oh, it's so good. Man, that's perfect. Mm. All right, to make the Samoa Latte Martini, head over to our website, wezl.com. It's delicious, it's so sweet, you'll love it. 1035 The Weasel.